So today we're going to talk about what to do when she pulls away. And for you guys, she's not going to expect this. So I want you to stay tuned for this. Now, look, at I recognize that for many of us men out in the dating marketplace, it can be that rather challenging. There is so much dating advice and relationship advice and rhetoric out there that is geared from, I believe, a rather toxic or unhealthy way to approach relationships. And basically, many of you men are told to the most significant aspect of your life is to be in shape and make lots of money and that will attract the woman of your dreams. And while to some degree there's truth to that, I think it's important to be as physically fit as one can possibly be, and certainly to be financially stable as one can possibly be. And certainly those are healthy things to strive for. But within that advice, there's a lot of dynamics centered on what I call the one up, one down relationship, that the man is the significant leader in the relationship and the woman must submit to a man. And I don't subscribe to that. I subscribe to a collaborative type of relationship. I subscribe to a co-creative type of relationship. So when you've experienced a relationship where a woman begins to pull away, she's emotionally distancing herself from the relationship. There are a lot of coaches out there that will tell you to pull back, don't communicate, live your best life, show her how amazing you are on social media because this will give you the upper hand and then she'll start going, oh, wow, I just lost a great guy. I will go chase him. See, in my perspective, that's just a load of crap. Now, for you men that are new to my channel, I want to share with you three types of people actively dating. And I want you to look at this chart and please forgive the glare. By the way, this is not a fact. It's merely an opinion. I call there's a group of people about 20% or what I call users. And then about 60% of the population are spenders, and the balance is what I co call grower and builders. Now, users are those people that are in it for the short-term game. They only care about themselves. This includes men who are love bombers. This includes women who are gold diggers, entitled, selfish people. And I know many of you men are being told that's the vast majority of women, but I believe that's a smaller percentage. Now, the big balance in there is that spender, that's the person that wants companionship, wants connection, wants sex, but they are emotionally stifled. They don't have their act together. They have some childhood wounds and adult traumas that makes it difficult for them to go all in. And then the balance, 20% of what I call grower and builders. These are people that seek long-term commitment. They have their act together. They're emotionally mature. And this is true for men and women alike. So if you were a man who what I call a grower builder, and that grower means you want to grow into relationship with a woman, you want to build something with that woman. I think it's critically important to state right up front the type of relationship you're seeking. Now, first, this requires self-examination and asking yourself what type of relationship I'm seeking. What I mean is type of relationship. Be honest with yourself. Are you looking for a hookup? Are you looking with, for a friends with benefits? Are you looking for something casual? Or are you looking for something more significant, serious, maybe even moving in together, getting married? It's okay to do the self-examination. Now, I know many of you guys recognize that there's probably not going to be an opportunity to be physically intimate with someone if you state that you're just looking for a hookup. So many of you guys actually go under the guise of, I want a relationship. As a way, but you're what I call a user. You're what I call a user. That you're going to be taking advantage of someone. So if you're watching my channel, this invitation is to make a declaration for yourself. That do you want to be a user? Do you want to be someone who uses people? Or do you want to be someone that actually wants to invest in a significant relationship. Now, if your life is in a bit of chaos, if you're going through a contentious divorce, if you've got some health issues, if you've got problems at work, I think it's important to recognize that. And that puts you most likely in the spender category. And, you know, to some degree, I have to ask myself, is it buyer beware? Because if a woman is a grower and builder and she comes across one of you men who are a spender, 
meaning you're not capable for all in commitment. Is that on you or is that on her? Because part of the dating process is examining one's own life. That's a question she's going to have to ask for yourself. My invitation for you is to be in integrity with someone. And while you might want that companionship, connection, and sex, are you really in integrity with yourself when you tell her you want a relationship, even if you're not capable of going all in? So if you are that grower builder and you're with a woman who is beginning to pull away, First off, don't use that other advice that people tell you to live your best life, as I said earlier, and make her jealous on social media. That's only a temporary solution. See, I'm going to invite you to say the following words, the following words. And I'm going to read from this, so bear with me, and I'm going to repeat it, okay? But you can simply say something like this. And she's not going to expect this. She's not going to expect the emotional intelligence that you're demonstrating in this moment. And I want you to say, it appears you've you've been distant. What? It appears you've distanced yourself from our connection. And if this is true, would you be open to having a heartfelt conversation about what's coming up for you? Let me repeat that. It appears you've distanced yourself from our connection. And if this is true, would you be open to having a heartfelt connection about what's coming up for you? Now, let me just tell you something. Some women might not be able to recognize that they have distance. They might say everything is fine. But I'm going to say your spider senses are accurate. So it's okay to probe a little bit further. And you can even state in that moment, you're having some doubts because you are feeling distant. You can simply say, look, I'm feeling this. This is a real feeling for me. And if they dismiss your feelings, chances are that they're not capable. They're probably not fully capable to lean into a significant relationship. That's not an absolute. By the way, my coffee mug says, swear a little, you'll feel better. I think I'll be tame on this video today. Men, I want you to do something going forward that is going to be rather unique, given that the dating marketplace is filled with those users and spenders, both men and women alike. Guys, doing this will set you apart from every other man out there. And I want you to approach the process and and from a long-term mating strategy. And from a long-term mating strategy, I invite you to really lean into Do you want a life partner? Do you want a life partner? If you want a life partner, then approach the dating process from an intentional perspective. Recognize that the first 90 days you're establishing not just whether or not you like each other, but whether or not you're on the same page with one another. Let me reframe that. Same page with one another in what you seek. So I'm encouraging you to have radically honest conversations with a woman. Be vulnerable with a woman. Be vulnerable with a woman. And most importantly, be transparent with her. Have deeper conversations. You might want to check out the book, guys. It's called Eight Dates by Doctors John and Julie Gottman. By the way, all the books I recommend are listed below. These are great conversations to have in the early stage of dating to determine if you're on the same page with one another. I know it's probably more common that men pull away than women, but I'm seeing just as many women out there that are fearful of relationships. Because if you take a look at your past relationships, take a deep examination of your past experiences. If you've been divorced and and if you were married once before and divorced, truly have an examination from how was I responsible for the ending of this relationship? See, oftentimes men and women point the finger at one another instead of a deep examination on how did I contribute to this ending? And then look at women you've dated in your life or you've been in a relationship and examine. Do you have a pattern here of choosing someone who's maybe like your mother, who's maybe like your father? I'm guilty of the mother wound. I tend to, well, 
I don't want to throw in my past partners under the bus, but I tend to choose women that are similar to my mother in some way, shape, or form. Thank God they don't look like her, by the way. <laughs> um, no disrespect to my mom. Um, but truly do an examination for yourself. And I'm inviting all of you, if you want to become a grower builder, is to look at your childhood wounds and your adult traumas and do some healing around that. Folks, if you're not familiar with my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? A Journey of Personal Development, Self-Help, and Spiritual Work. There's a link below to get a copy of my book. I invite you to do the inner work to really get crystal clear. See, self-love, I know that's a turnoff to many of you, but self-love isn't just, the word self-love to me is self-worth self-confidence, self-reliance, self-examination, self-discipline. Because guess what? There's only one person that you spend your entire life with, 100% of your entire life with, and that's you. And so by investing in yourself in some way, shape, or form, it's going to make you a better partner in relationship. And when you're a better partner, she is less likely to pull away. I'm inviting men to let go of the men going our own way uh, narrative and the red pill and the black pill and the blue pill and the green pill and all the different pills out there. Because who cares what other people are doing, guys? What matters most is what you're doing for yourself. And that's my invitation for you. So just to repeat, if you notice she's pulling away, I want you to try this. She won't expect this. And by the way, this will build deeper intimacy with the two of you. And I simply want you to say, it appears you've distanced yourself from our connection. And if this is true, would you be open to having a heartfelt conversation about what's coming up for you? This builds deeper intimacy. And when you have deeper intimacy, you have a deeper heart connection and you've built the deeper roots of trust so your relationship can sustain the bumps in the road that are going to happen and then which inevitably do guys, there's no such thing as the perfect woman, but there are great women out there, just like there are great men out there. And when we learn these tools to build deeper connection, we have a stronger relationship. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know if it is post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As if you, if you find value in this video, please hit that like button. Please share this video please, with your male friends. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if you want to connect with me in the links below, you can schedule a discovery call with me. You can join my groups, all this good stuff in the links below. I'm going to wrap up this video by saying thank you so much for listening. I hope I'm making a difference in your life. Be well. Thanks. Bye now.